Often overshadowed by the more overt aspects of military power, such as weaponry and tactics, logistics is arguably the most crucial element in warfare, often holding the key to success. Organizing, moving, and supplying military forces is an indispensable aspect of any military operation. Amateurs talk strategy, professionals talk logistics. I think this quote attributed to General Omar Bradley, the man the famous Bradley infantry fighting vehicle was named after makes all this clear. Also clear is that the need to maintain effective supply chains faces several challenges especially in high risk areas. One of these challenges would be geographical in nature. Difficult terrain or other harsh conditions can complicate transportation and delivery of supplies especially in remote areas. Another challenge would be that the high risk areas often present direct threats to supply routes from hostile forces during rapidly evolving situations that require constant adaptation in logistics strategies. In particular, this applies to isolated or cut-off forces and civilians. For instance, in 2004 during the intense CPA compound firefight in Najaf, Iraq, an MD-530 helicopter was successfully utilized to supply ammunition to surrounded US troops and private military contractors on a rooftop as they were running out of ammunition. Similarly, in the 2023 conflict in Ukraine, both sides have frequently used small commercial drones to resupply friendly troops. There has also been an increasing reliance on unmanned concepts to evacuate wounded personnel from the front lines. The use of small helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles has effectively addressed previous challenges, yet each has its drawbacks. Helicopters, while versatile, are costly and require pilots who face constant risk during supply missions. Conversely, small commercial drones are affordable and can be operated remotely, reducing operator risk, but they have limited payload capacity. This leads to a pivotal question, why not integrate these two approaches, combining their strengths to create a more efficient and safer solution? Well, that's exactly what the air truck is, namely an innovative unmanned aerial vehicle primarily designed for logistics support, capable of carrying a payload of up to 500 kilograms, a feature that sets it apart in the realm of most of the other unmanned aerial systems. To set this in relation, 500 kilograms means about a fire team of fully geared soldiers, only potential of course, or 50,000 rounds of 5.56 rifle ammunition. This substantial payload capacity makes it an ideal solution for critical missions that involve the transportation of goods, supplies or equipment in challenging environments making it a versatile tool in both military and civilian applications. The air truck can either operate autonomously or under the control of a live operator. This dual mode operation capability is particularly useful in situations that require real-time decision making or in environments that are too risky for manned missions. The pre-programmed mission functionality allows for precise and consistent operation, which is vital in repetitive or standardized logistic tasks. It was designed with focus on efficiency in loading and unloading operations to be beneficial in rapid deployment scenarios or in situations where time is a critical factor. Through its design, it has the ability to quickly load and unload its cargo, what ensures that the UAV can be rapidly redeployed, maximizing its operational efficiency. It has a max operating speed of 140 kilometers, while its maximum endurance speed is 90 kilometers per hour. Furthermore, the air truck's maximum range of 360 kilometers allows for extensive reach in various mission scenarios. Another example is the QX650 or how I like to call it based on its twin rotary wing design, the Baby Chinook. It allows for fully autonomous operation and has a 50 kg payload transportable in a 20 feet container. This tandem rotor cargo UAV has a selling of 10,000 feet with an endurance of 3.5 hours. Its maximum payload delivery radius lies at 200 km with a delivery speed of 170 km per hour thanks to its four-cylinder, naturally aspirated, four-stroke petrol engine. The swift, medium-sized, mid-range, unmanned helicopter has the ability to land on multiple terrains, including sand and seagoing vessels allowing effortless cargo transfers to and from remote and hard-to-access locations. The QX650 is the newest addition to Edge Group's QX family, a series of unmanned aerial vehicles for ISR, logistics and strike missions. Also new in Edge's portfolio is the Anavia HT100 of the Switzerland-based autonomous air systems developer Anavia, which specializes in the design, development, and manufacturing of VTOL systems. Edge has recently acquired a majority stake of 52% in Anavia as part of its strategy of expanding its foothold as a global leader in the domain of autonomous air systems. The Anavia HT100 has a payload and fuel capacity of 65 kilograms and can achieve a top speed of 120 kilometers per hour. Its maximum flight time hovers around 250 minutes with a high payload but can go up to 6 hours in ideal conditions. It can handle winds up to 46 kilometers per hour 
and temperatures within the range of minus 25 degrees to plus 55 degrees Celsius. Depending on the radio setup, antenna configuration and terrain, the UAV can offer a data link range of 200 kilometers. Given its long range controls, it can be used for ISR missions as well as mapping and cargo operations. The HT-100 also offers autonomous start and landing capabilities. Its ease of use provides coast guards and even navies with a highly versatile unmanned vehicle, one that delivers high endurance, easy maintenance and interoperability. That's why in November 2023, Edge Group entity Abu Dhabi Shipbuilding announced the integration of several HT-100 into vessels participating in one of its key export programs. Which program was not disclosed but it hints the interest and real demand in such products and it totally makes sense because there are several benefits that come with switching to unmanned logistic military vehicles. They provide enhanced safety by reducing the risk to personnel in conflict zones or dangerous environments. Unlike human-operated vehicles, they can operate continuously without the need for rest, what leads to increased efficiency. They potentially reduce long-term operational costs related to personnel and their welfare, and they have the potential to reduce mistakes caused by human fatigue or judgment errors. What do you think about this approach? Can unmanned systems really ensure that the right personnel, equipment, and supplies are in the right place at the right time while this matters too important to entrust autonomous? vehicles with them. I am really interested in your thoughts on this so feel free to let me know in the comments. Also make sure to like this video if you found it interesting. It really helps this channel out a lot. Thank you very much.